In today's video, a bunch of military spec mega cruisers on the scrap heap, plus two civilian examples. G'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. Thank you very much for joining me, I do hope you are well. And as mentioned, I have got so many mega cruisers to show you, I hope you're gonna love it. Now, four wheel drives, in the 850 videos I've done, like literally, how many pure four wheel drive videos have I done? Like three, maybe? Anyway, super strange. And I did see them on my way to a car show. And uh, let me just talk about that car show just a little bit. It was up at Mojico. The rain pretty much killed the event. I did a live stream on Facebook. Did you check it out? Please let me know what you thought about that. I really enjoyed it. Hope you did too. And uh, another reason why I enjoy that event was because I met so many great people. It was just great to talk to everyone. Now, I met this fella here. His name is Nielsen. He's from Melbourne. So great to see you, Nielsen. Hope to catch you next time. Now, let's get back to the recycle center. And yes, when I came back, I saw these cars again and I jumped out of my car. The weather was nuts. It was near cyclonic. I was getting pushed over, so windy, and my umbrella was acting like a sail, almost taking me to the horizon. It was just nuts. So there you have it, mega cruiser after mega cruiser. Some bits have been taken off some, some are a little bit damaged, but they're super simple vehicles. Just a side note, there is another four wheel drive vehicle, a smaller vehicle than the mega cruiser. I believe it's Mitsubishi Pajero base, but I don't have specifics and I don't have a photo. I'm just saying it exists. Now the mega cruiser was used as a troop carrier. Also, it had some pretty funky accessories. It had like this air defense radar. Also, you could mount surface-to-air missiles. I mean, that's something that would be super handy. Well, surface-to-surface, -surface, I could totally use that on the commute to work. On second thought, it does sound a bit drastic. Now, just some basic stats of these vehicles. They are super massive. What, five meters long by two meters high by two meters wide? Actually, all bigger than those dimensions. Engine is a four-cylinder engine. Diesel, turbocharged, intercooled. Intercooled, what does that mean? Intercooled. 140 horsepower and uh, automatics. They've all got four speed automatic gearboxes. Now it's time to get into our civvies, so to speak, and there's a civilian mega cruiser, four doors for, uh, you know, passengers. And it can carry six passengers, which seems like a pretty big vehicle for six passengers. But there it is, I got like three photos and five seconds of footage, just super crazy. I should have got more of that. Uh, and the next one I saw was this dark blue one. Now I saw this one quite recently on the way home from work. I saw it a couple days in a row at a hotel and I bit the bullet, I did some covert shooting of it and I ducked off as quick as I could. But there it is, super clean. Now, just while I've got your ear, and I've got a ton of footage of this blue one so I, I can talk for a little bit, is I just don't get four-wheel drives generally. I mean, I just don't think people really use four-wheel drives for the purpose that they were built for. And I could be wrong, but just looking at this one, it's super tidy, which is great. But I do question, is this guy driving over rocks and up through dry riverbeds and broken roads and, you know, or is he just going shopping? I just don't get the purpose of four-wheel drives. Not hating, I just don't get it. There is one thing I would love to be able to show you, and that's the spare tire that hangs off the rear door. There's like a little winch because the spare wheel, as with all of the wheels, are just so massive. You've got to crank it down onto the ground, then roll it around, and then you've got to winch it back up again. It's just great, but I don't have that footage. You know, I just recalled another time I saw one of these mega cruisers. It was the military spec. It was down in Kumamoto just after their massive earthquake. And I don't know if it made international news, but the castle, it got destroyed. And that's going to take 50, 70 years for them to restore that. It's just bonkers. So there you have it. That is all of the mega cruiser footage on my hard drive. It has been exhausted. Now, question of the day is what did you quit? What do you want to quit? Please let me know in the comments below. Now, as for me, I was working at Burger King Japan every Friday night since about the end of March. Well, there was a month of August off. I was in Australia, had a great time. Uh, but yeah, working Friday nights, it was killing me. But finally, I quit that. Yesterday was my first Friday night off. Oh my God, so much fun. Uh, so yeah, please let me know in the comments below and thank you so much everyone. Take it easy. Goodbye. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt, I was happy gals and I never heard was happy.